how to fix Steam client bootstrap or not responding issue. There are several factors that can cause this particular problem ranging from a corrupted file to a hardware issue. In this latest video installment of our troubleshooting series, we will tackle the Steam client bootstrap or not responding issue. Before performing the recommended troubleshooting steps for this particular problem, I suggest that you try restarting your computer first. This will refresh the operating system as well as remove corrupt temporary data and is quite effective in fixing most software related issues. First, disconnect the Xbox 360 controller. One of the main factors that can cause this problem is the Xbox controller connected to the computer. This appears to be a bug in the software. If you have an Xbox controller that is connected to your computer, you can try to disconnect it and check if the issue still occurs. Clear the download cache. One factor that can cause this problem is a corrupted download cache. To check if this is the culprit you will need to remove the cache data of Steam. To do this, open your Steam client then navigate to settings. This is located in the top left menu. Next, locate downloads in the settings panel. Then click clear download cache. Click OK to confirm your choice and after a while, Steam will ask for your login credentials. After logging in again, Steam will start as expected. Next, try running Steam as an administrator to do this first press Windows key and R key to open the run dialog box. Then at run dialog box type task MGR and press enter or click OK to open task manager section. Then search for different Steam processes, which are running and close them one by one. Don't leave any behind. This ensures that the changes we make stay concrete and get saved. So when we launch the client again, it doesn't display any errors. Next, right click on the Steam client shortcut icon on your desktop. Then click on run his administrator from the drop down menu. Check if the Steam Client Bootstrap or Not Responding issues still occur. Next, temporarily disable antivirus program. Sometimes the problem can be caused by the interference of the antivirus software. You can check if this is what's causing the problem by turning off your computer security software. If you are using Avast and McAfee, you can refer to Google on how to temporarily disable antivirus program. If you have Windows security, follow these steps. At the lower left on your Windows, click on the Start Windows logo. Click on Settings, which is an icon that looks like a gear. This will open Windows Settings section, and at Windows Settings section, click on Update and Security. Click on Windows Security, which is located at the left pane. Click Virus and Threat Protection from the Protection Area section. On the new window, click Manage Settings from Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Then toggle off Real-Time Protection. Next, restart your computer. After completely reboots, check if the Steam Client Bootstrap or Not Responding issue still occurs. Lastly, disable any VPN programs. Steam has recommended that you run the software without any VPN running as this could cause certain issues to occur. To do this, type command prompt at the search bar located on your lower left corner of your desktop. Then right-click on the command prompt result and select Run as Administrator from the drop-down menu. At command prompt, type netsh winsock reset catalog and hit enter. If the command was successful, you should be receiving a message which says, Successfully reset the Winsock catalog. Next, restart the computer. After computer completely reboots, check if the Steam client bootstrap are not responding. Issue still occurs. 
After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed Steam. Client Bootstrapper not responding issue. I hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.